how you doing? Today is Sunday, January 18th. How have you been? Um, I have not made any videos uh, since Christmas. We got back from Halifax and I was sick uh, that first week. And then last week I was just trying to get back into my routine. Um, back to Windreach, which actually I got there and it was cancelled. But um, And back to Dockyard and stuff like that. So... Uh, last, last week I was just trying to get in my routine, so that first week back, um, what would it have been, the fifth, that week, um, I was sick. I had that cold from Christmas and I just had no energy, I didn't feel like doing anything, I was basically flaked out, uh, in the chair in the living room and didn't do much. Um, just had a really bad head cold. And then finally on the Friday, which I think would have been the 9th, I finally tore down the Christmas stuff. But I just found a tree. I had a tree up on the shelf here, and I just found that um, a little while ago today. And um, I did housework and dusted the bathroom and dusted around another Christmas tree. Never clued in that there was a tree sitting there. I usually do that at Christmas. There's always a couple things I forget to put, to put away. Um, but that Friday, I put the Christmas stuff away, and I had no energy. I had no desire to put the Christmas stuff away, but it was you know, getting into January, so it had to be done. So the last bag that went out to the garage, it was like a white garbage bag, and I was just biffing things into it, so it's going to be some kind of mystery bag um, for next Christmas. I will tackle the garage at some point, um, and that's what I want to do this year. I want to go through the whole house and get rid of things, but I'm not doing it now because I just don't want to. <laughs> so at some point I will. Um, I started this channel off by like trying to organize stuff. So I will do some videos of that um, at some point, but I'm just, I just got run down over Christmas. Just not enough sleep. And I was trying to, you know, make things and do stuff. And I just was not getting enough sleep. So I got run down and got sick. So now I'm kind of spending January not doing a heck of a lot. Um, I've been doing some cross stitch and today I made that little banner. I kind of have to sit in a weird spot so you could see that, but I just thought it was cute. Um, I had the Christmas banner, which I just took down today. I forgot that was up. I had my Merry Christmas banner and I'm going to make a little, um, uh, Red Cardinal Crafts one, but I think I might make a little tiny one and have it like in my shot like when I'm doing stuff So maybe like tiny little flags. I don't know um, so I'm gonna do that and um, Yeah, so last week I was just trying to get back in, uh, into a routine. I like having some sort of um, Routine it just calms my brain um, But yeah, I did some cross stitch. I have these little cottages um, that I bought a couple years ago, these little cottage patterns, and I, where did I, put I finished January this morning, so there's one for every month of the year, and this was the January one, and I just finished it, isn't it cute? Adorable. Um, and there was a couple colors I was missing, so I ended up placing an order with um, 123 Stitch, which is where I got these cottages from. This is my new one, this is February. So I'm going to be working on that. I might actually start that today. I told myself I would just start each month um, and work on it. And I just keep my colors in the back of the package. So there's not many colors needed for this one. Only six different colors. Um, so yeah, so each month I'm going to work on a different um, pattern. And so now I'm moving on to uh, January. Um, and then I have all the little... Here's March. But they're Country Cottage Needleworks um, Cottage of the Month. And they're on 123 stitch. And then the fabric I'm using is this. It's 28 count lamb's wool jobelin. And it's 9 by 13 is the size that I got. So I was originally thinking that I would um, make little pillows or something, like pillowcases. But I think I'm going to just wait and get them all done and frame them. And then hang all 12 on the wall together. I think it would be really cute. Because that's how they show them. They show them in little picture frames. So... That will happen at some point in life. And then the other thing I'm working on is my Harry Potter cross stitch, but I have it on my big rack thing over there. Um, and I had run out of some colors, but what I discovered this week is that we have a store that carries the DMC floss. Um, so I went and got a couple more colors, even though I ordered them on 123 Stitch. Um, I just wanted to finish that January one off, so I needed some colors. So I went in the store that day. Um, and got some and then I went back later that afternoon and then I went yesterday because I was trying to get the little cardboard bobbins um, That I keep the colors on and they only have the plastic ones. I like the cardboard So I placed an order on eBay for those 
these letters that I used, I got a whole um, haul from a lady here in Bermuda. It's on my floor. I will show it to you. All that stuff on the floor. Can you see it? <laughs> Let me move it over. All that. I went and met her in a parking lot the other day and got all those things for $50. Um, and she was, she said to me, she said, do you do crafts? And I was like, yeah, I do crafts. I actually have a YouTube channel. She goes, oh my God, are you my little pink cottage? I was like, yeah. She said, my brother watches you. I was like, oh my God. She said, um, he's told me to watch your channel. So she's going to start watching my channel. So if you're watching it, hello, Jennifer, how are you? Um, and she said that now that she knows who I am, um, and if she's getting rid of anything else, she said she's going to contact me. So please do Jennifer. Um, the stuff is being put to good use already. And uh, so it was nice to meet you and hello to your brother. Um, but yeah, so she, uh, she, she figured out that it was me and then I told her I had a pet channel and a craft channel. So she's gonna check those out. So I'm gonna do the haul that I got um, and I'll put that up on my craft channel. Or channel. I filmed that the other night. Um, so that was awesome. So many good things um, in that haul. It was like four grocery bags full of stuff. So that was awesome. Um, what else have I been doing? This is a book that I bought um, in the airport. There's something about traveling that I want to buy a book of some of some kind when I'm in the airport. Um, I got this one, Orphan Train. It was really good. I finished it yesterday morning. I'm just thrilled to have finished a book. Um, it was really good. It's about um, two women. One is a teenager. Her name's Molly, um, and she's living in Maine, and it's 2011. And she ends up working for this lady helping to clean out her attic. And um, the lady uh, was, so Molly had been adopted and, not adopted, but sent from foster home to foster home. So she ends up going to work for this um, elderly lady and that lady had the same story. Her family had come from Ireland, they came to New York, something happened. She ends up on this orphan train um, and ends up moving from to different families and stuff in amongst um in around minnesota and it's just how their stories are similar and they get to know each other and the whole thing so it's really good i really liked it um so that's orphan train and then i went to the barn yesterday of course come home with more books which i said to myself i was not gonna go find more books i'm still reading new york i'm on there's like 862 pages and i still have about 200 left I'm trying, I'm trying to finish that book, but in the meantime, I've started this one. It's called um, The Birth House by Amy McKay. And it's about uh, a midwife back in like the early 1900s in Nova Scotia, of all places. So I've, I just started, I mean like, I'm literally just started, but I like it so far, so it's good. Um, so it's this girl, uh, Dora, and she kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, hangs out with this midwife lady um, in Nova Scotia. And it's kind of cool because I recognize um, the places. And then I grabbed this one. This is called The Ghost Bride. And there's the author. Yang, Yang Shi Shu. I'm not sure how to um, explain that one. Uh, or uh, explain it. Um, pronounce it. Uh it's about a daughter of a genteel but bankrupt Chinese family. Um, she has few prospects, but fate intervenes when she receives a proposal from the wealthy and powerful Lim family. They want her to become a ghost bride for the family's only son who died under mysterious circumstances. So she becomes a ghost bride. Um, rarely practiced, ghost marriages are often meant to replace a restless spirit. Such a union would guarantee her a comfortable home for the rest of her days. But at what cost? Dun, dun, dun. So is that one. And then this one, The Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett. I've never read one of his books. It's just, hi, I'm Ken Follett. Um, so yeah, I've never read one of these. It's a little thick. Again, you watch, it's going to be like 800 pages again. Oh, no, it's 980. Three, 983 pages. Okay, I might wait for that one. <laughs> but these ones I like, they're manageable. They're smaller books, so I might try and do that. Uh, a friend of mine, she, her and her friends were doing a book club. Uh, she asked me to join, I don't know if I'm gonna do it or not. Um, there's a Jody P 
Pico. I don't know how to say her name. She wrote uh, My Sister's Keeper. I enjoyed that book immensely. I read it in pretty much a weekend, um, but I was so disappointed in the movie. Uh, so they're talking about reading The Storyteller by her, um, and then there's another one called Walking Home, um, A Journey from Humble to Healed or something. Um, it's sort of like, <clears throat> excuse me, The Wild, or Wild, um, that movie that Reese Witherspoon is in. So I don't know. I've, I've got enough stuff on the go. I don't know if I can do a book club. I kind of, I'm a little... Gemini <laughs> when it comes to reading. I am a Gemini so I'm kind of all over the place um, when it comes to crafts and reading and staying focused. So anyway, um, something else that I received was some cards from you guys. So thank you for that. I guess some of you have received my Christmas cards. Some of them may still be on their way. I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyone that had sent me a postcard last year um, hopefully received a Christmas card for me, so I wanted that to be a bit of a surprise. Um, and it seems like some of you have received them. So, guinea pigs are freaking out. This one is from Helen, and she is in Richmond, BC, and she's hand stamped this card. Very cute card, and she put a note inside. She added a letter, and let's see, she said, <clears throat> what a lovely surprise getting your Christmas card. Thank you. And she said, we're not going to be in Canada for Christmas. They were going to Palm Harbor, Florida, and they were going to meet her daughter and son-in-law who live in the Cayman Islands. And they were meeting up with them. Um, she enjoys watching uh, my YouTube channel, and she finds me very funny and talented. Thank you very much. And she was glad to hear that Kerrigan was okay after the explosion at her school, uh, which was insane. Um, she said she didn't do any craft fairs or anything like that at Christmas. She took a break, and maybe she'll do some in the spring. So thank you so much, Helen, for the card. That was very sweet of you. And she has a little... I'll show you little cardinal sticker down at the bottom. There was another, uh, someone else had a cardinal sticker and I couldn't find it when I was trying to do the video, but um, someone else had put one of those on uh, one of my other cards. This one here is from Gloria and she is in Atoka, Tennessee. Thank you, Gloria. And she's made this card. Isn't that cute? And it said, Tanya and family, Merry Christmas and hope you have a very Merry Christmas. And it's from Gloria. And look at the, look at the stamp she put on the card. Rudolph and Hermie. Did I ever tell you that I went to see the Rudolph stuff? I can't remember. This is cute too. On the back she has a little Merry Christmas stamp. Um, yeah, I went to see the Rudolph stuff, but it was a little underwhelming um, when I went to see it. It was still cool to see, and I actually watched, um, the kids and I watched Box Trolls uh, the other day. I think I would love that as a job, like doing um, stop animation like that. I think I'd be thrilled, because that, Rudolph thrilled me as a kid, and now like this, um, What's his name? Uh, what's the guy? Who's the... Kerrigan? Tim Burton. There we go. Um, Tim Burton does those kind of movies like um, Nightmare Before Christmas and Coraline and all those kind of things. And then Box Trolls was really cool. I would love to like make the sets and, and all that. If so, if you're someone out there that makes those sets and want me to help I, I want to be hired. <laughs> I want to be hired. I would love to do that job. It would be so fun. This card is from Elaine, and Elaine is in Southgate, California, and I've received postcards from Elaine before. And she put a message in my card as well. She said, I was so over-the-top excited to receive your holiday card. Uh, she said, it's a fun way to communicate. She said, I love checking in on you through YouTube and have been right there with you on the cruise ship and at the One Direction concert. Um, and she's saying that she wants to do some rearranging and stuff this year. She saw my craft room rearranging video and uh, she said it's given her incentive to do the same. So good luck with that. Um, she said neatness is a 2015 resolution for her. Um, <laughs> good luck with that, uh, she said. So um, that, I love your writing. Um, she's really nice handwriting. You write like a teacher. Are you a, are you a teacher? You have teacher handwriting. Like it's very neat penmanship. Um, yeah, the One Direction concert is. You, if you saw my Christmas video, you saw that the kids got tickets. I would have gone to Boston, Phyllis and Betsy, but we ended up going. Uh, we ended up picking Toronto this time. Um, 
the hotel that we stayed in in Boston is no longer a Fairmont, and that's why we had stayed there <laughs> at Battery Wharf. Um, they, I guess they sold it or something, so it's no longer a Fairmont. And we picked Toronto this time because the stadium has a roof, <laughs> so I don't stress out um, about rain this time. And um, so it's in, well, we used to call it the Sky Dome. I think it's the Rogers Center now. And it's in Toronto. And Scott and I used to live in Toronto. So I know the city and I know where I'm going and we can walk to things and whatever. And we can probably go see Scott's parents. Um, so yeah, so we've switched venues this time, but uh, the kids were so excited. That video, I had to edit. Um, so much of that video because Bryn was like hyperventilating for about 10 minutes So I had to edit the video down, but I left enough of it in so you could see that she was completely losing her mind um, And couldn't get it together. Kerrigan was just completely in shock um, They were just in shock about the phones and then I just thought that was a fun way to surprise them with the concert by putting the the picture of the concert poster on their phone. So it worked out well and it was nice that we had um, fun that morning with that because as you saw the day kind of went downhill from there. Dad's doing really good. He does still have trouble with his knee. Um, he's been going to uh, physio and he has a knee brace for his knee now. Um, he had fallen in the garden in the yard uh, before Christmas. He tripped and he fell and he said he did a 540. <laughs> He flipped and he rolled and cars stopped. It was a whole big production. Um, my family, we just don't fall. Like, it's a whole big thing. <laughs> Mom fell over my grandmother's coffee table one day and she ended up in the other, on the other side of the room. It was like, the, you just stand there and you watch and it's, and you marvel at <laughs> the flips and the rolling. It's amazing. Um, and dad does the same thing. So he fell in the garden a couple weeks before Christmas and then a few days after that, or about a week after that, he was in the shed and he came down off the stool and he twisted his knee really bad. So that brought on the Tylenol 3 and that got him all messed up with his stomach and the whole thing and that brings us to Christmas Day. So um, so that's all better. He's His stomach and everything is working well. Um, but it was so funny because, <laughs> so he was in the hospital with a twisted colon and then New Year's Eve we ended up playing Pictionary and he takes a card out of the deck and he starts laughing his head off because the the word that he had to draw was colon so we were just completely losing it just thought that was so funny but um yeah so dad's doing good so if he could just get his knee back together um that would be really good so but anyway so that was uh that was Christmas and of course we lost um Annette's father-in-law so that was that was sad um he fought the good fight. He, he, him and dad were both in the hospital last Christmas. So, um, yeah, it's been two years of just not good, <laughs> but, uh, we make the best of it. Wendy, um, had written into me and she said, I love your videos. And I just like how your family makes the best of everything. And we try, I mean, Annette and I joking around the hospital, you have to, or you're going to just crack up. <laughs> like you just have to make, um, the best of every situation and my family we tend to cope with things using humor um <laughs> that's just how we cope um anyway moving along this is a card that i got from christine and she's in pomona california i don't know if i'm saying that right pomona pomona california so thank you christine she put a note in her card as well um, she said, your Christmas card was such a nice surprise and totally unexpected. Um, she's, I received a um, postcard from her before and she grew up in Saskatchewan in Canada and she moved there when she was two and a half. So they're out in California, um, but she said that her and her husband went out to BC back in the fall and she said she's also looking um into halifax to visit so that'd be cool we could do a meetup if you're ever there if i'm there at the same time in the summer sometime um my slippers falling off and uh she said her daughters were home for college during the holidays and they were trying to spend every um moment they could with them so that was very nice christine so thank you for that and then this one is she never puts her first name. I received a postcard from her before um, and she is in Winnipeg, Canada and she made this card and she has a little froggy on the back. Is that sweet? Merry Christmas. And there's like little rhinestones on the top of it. She said best wishes for 2015. So thank you from out there in Winnipeg. And then this one 
This is from Heidi, and Heidi is out in Kamloops, BC, and Heidi, you're correct. I never did. I checked my address book, and I usually put a check mark next to people that I've returned a postcard to, and you're right. I did not get a postcard out to you. I will get a postcard out to you, because you sent me the one with the animals on it, um, and wanted to make sure I remembered all the animals in Canada. So I will get a postcard out to you. Um, yeah, because I sent your Christmas card, and then um, never did get the postcard out to you. But look. She put a cardinal sticker on there too, and it's a totally different cardinal sticker. Look at this. It's a di where'd it go? See, look, it's the same but different. Cute. And then I have this card. If you did send a card and you don't see it here, it might still be trying to get here. This country is very slow with everything. Um, this one here is from Cheryl. Whoops, sorry. Cheryl, isn't that cute? It's like raised. Um, circles, really cute, and she has a little um, UPC code on the back, hand stamped. Isn't that cute? And Cheryl lives in Middlefield, Ohio, and she, she put a note in her card as well. She said, I was so thrilled to receive a uh, Christmas card from you, and I felt like I got mail from a celebrity. <laughs> Um, very cute. Uh, thank you. Um, she said she's still enjoying my videos and my crafting talent continues to amaze her and you are so good at so many things. Thank you so much. Um, and she said, hope your holidays are fabulous and the new year brings you much happiness. And I hope so too because <laughs> Christmas was insane. Um, so thank you for the cards, guys. Thank you so much. And what else am I up to? That's kind of it. I've just kind of just been taking it easy. I got the house back in order. Um, like I said, I um, forgot a couple trees hanging around, and there's a little Santa thing on my shelf here that I forgot to put away. But I was just, I wasn't feeling good, and it was just like, oh, screw it. I just was biffing stuff into a bag. I <laughs> just didn't care. My hair is getting longer. I just had it done um, last week, so it's getting there. But this, the, the bangs, I'm trying to grow with the bangs, so I just have a bobby pin. <laughs> it's a little odd, but I'm trying to control it as best I can. I'm sure my dad is thrilled. Dad hates long hair. So I'm trying to make it long without making him crazy at the same time. But you could see at Christmas, my video, I kept playing with my hair. It was driving me crazy. Um, but anyway, so that's about it. So I'm going to have some, I keep saying I'm doing field trip Fridays and I haven't done it yet. And the kids were like, can you do field trip Saturdays? Because we might want to come with you. I'm like, okay. So once a week, I'll try to take you somewhere. Last Friday was pouring rain, so I didn't go anywhere. Um, I've had a lot of rain lately, although I'm saying that it's sunny now, but it was pouring earlier and Scott has gone for a walk and uh, it started raining as soon as he got down the bottom of the driveway. Um, so yeah, um, videos. What kind of videos am I, am I going to do? I'm going to do some field trip videos, like I've said. Um, so I'll try and do one like once a week and take you somewhere. I don't know, maybe we can go to the zoo or something. I ha actually, you know what, I've written down, I found this the other day because I was going to throw this out, and I found places where I'm going to take you. So there's a lagoon that we're going to go to, and there's caves there. We're going to go to the zoo. There's dolphins out at um, Dockyard, and there's the museum house, and there's this amazing mural um, in this museum place, so we can go there. There's the unfinished church out in St. George's, which is kind of cool. I've shown you St. Peter's, um, which is a really old church out in uh, St. George's, but there's an unfinished church, which is kind of cool. Um, there's forts around here. We can go around each parish. We have like nine parishes on the island. Um, and then we can go over to City Hall. There's like an art gallery. I'm probably not allowed to film in the art gallery, but we, we can go over to City Hall. Um, there's a big church in town that I've never been up. There's like a cathedral over there, and I think you can go up in the tower. Um, so we can do that. We can go around to some beaches and stuff. So there's some field trip ideas. If there's something, if you've been to Bermuda or you've heard of something in Bermuda and you want me to go investigate and check it out, um, let me know. Give me some suggestions of places um, to go see. And um, yeah, as for my craft channel, I'm going to be doing some cards for Valentine's Day. I do have a card in the box. Someone, I forget your name at this point, but she wrote in and she said she's having card in the box withdrawal because I had done um, so many of them at Christmas and I just haven't done any. There is a Valentine card up that I did right before we went away. I think I was stupid enough to try to do it the day before we went to Halifax, and as you saw, I was still trying to do the crochet dolls. Um, and people keep asking me about the crochet dolls. I don't have a pattern. It's in my brain. I just make them up. Um, I did try to film a video when I was making the Kylie doll, but it was just too much. I was like, 
working and trying to be under the camera to show you what I was doing and then I would forget and then I was I wasn't doing I was going to do voiceover afterwards so at some point I will show you how to make a little doll it won't be the Scottish dolls obviously but just the basic body of a doll um, but I just make it up I literally just looked at the photographs of Evan and Kylie from last summer when we were in Antigonish and just kind of like, oh, this is what a kilt looks like. Okay, so just sort of made it up. Um, but yeah, so I don't have a video for that. There was a pattern, hang on, that I got the other day, which was kind of cute, and I'm not going to be able to find it. Uh, where did I put it? Um, oh, here it is. I went to a stitch thing last week, um, and I go there like once a month, and someone, we always have this table where people can bring in stuff that they've worked on and they just don't want the patterns anymore, or if, you, or if they have extra yarn or whatever. So this was sitting on the table, and I thought this was cute. It's a little crochet pattern for a Kleenex holder. I think it's adorable. Um, they just used cotton yarn number 10 and a crochet hook number 4. Um, the size of it when it's finished is 8 by 14. Um, it's a free pattern. It says by Yenny. Yenny Gunawan. There's the... Wait, oh, too much glare coming in the window. Can you see that? Yenny Gunawan. Um, craftandme.com. So it just said it was a free pattern. So I don't know if it's up there anymore. Someone had just photocopied that and brought it in. So what I might try to do is make one and do a tutorial and we can kind of make one together. Um, of my craft channel and um, so yeah the cards that I was doing I did a card in the box for Valentine's Day and that is up on my Etsy shop uh, if you want the embellishments for that and what I will do this year is because the card in the box um, embellishments seem to go over well um, with you guys at Christmas um, I'm gonna do some for Valentine's Day and Mother's Day and Father's Day and birthdays and just different occasions like that um, but I'll do a card in the box, I'll do an easel card, I'll do like maybe a never-ending card, I'll do a couple different card designs and then have the embellishments in my shop, um, so if you're interested. But what I have to do first is make them so I can show them to you. Um, and I'll do... I've done a video of how to make those cards, so I might just have to put the link um, when I get them done. I'll just do the link to those other videos where I've made that particular style card. Um, so that's what I'm going to do in my craft channel. I've been asked some questions about my bobbin lace, and there's a pattern that I did um, that my lace teacher recently taught me, and I gave away my bookmark to Scott's mom at Christmas, and it was like the best bookmark I've made to date. Um, but it's a nice little pattern, so I think what I might do is I might put the pattern on my Etsy shop and you can get the pattern and then um, I'll do a tutorial at some point of how to do that pattern. It is getting really bright <laughs> by the window here. Oh, um, So yeah, so I will put that up at some point and Project Life. I keep talking about Project Life, but I am determined to start it. I, the reason I haven't started is I'm scared to death. I don't really know what I'm doing, um, but I will have to do some kind of video soon. I will do my very first Project Life um, video and I will probably do it as a process video like I'll make it and um, just do voiceover most likely for it. Um, I don't think I've ever done that for a video. So um, I think I did one actually I was driving in the car here or I was on the back of the scooter or something and I did a voiceover for it but I've never done one for a craft video so we'll see how that works. So that's what's coming up. I do want to go through the entire house and tear it apart but I'm not doing that at this point. I will I will do it. I just I finally got Christmas away and all that and just chaos of Christmas so I just want to just relax for a little bit and maybe just do a few projects like I'm gonna go work on this now the little um, February cross stitch thing. I might do some of my Harry Potter. So I'm just kind of taking it easy. I might knit a dishcloth here and there and I may do some scrapbook things. So I will do some videos um, when I get to my scrapbook stuff and put that on my craft channel. So there you have it and that's where I've been for the past couple weeks. Just sick and then trying to get back in a routine and also just generally lazy. <laughs> I've really been doing too much. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a good weekend, and I hope you have a good week next week, and I will be back with some more videos soon. All right, take care, guys. See ya.